Hello, fellow artists. Today, I thought it would be exciting and um, entertaining if I painted a picture for you, right? Sounds pretty cool, sounds pretty fun. I know people were following Bob Ross uh, painting tutorials and stuff a while ago. I want to do my version of doing something artistic with paints for you today. So I had this idea a while ago that I would paint iconic paintings but incorporating myself into them. So thanks to all my good friends at Arteza, we will be painting the scream with myself in it. Now, Arteza is a wonderful art supply company and they provided me with the canvas, the paints, the disposable uh, palettes that I'll be using, but they provided me with a lot of other really fun stuff like their new real brush pens that are like paint brushes, but the paint's in the inside of the brush, so you just, you just paint with like watercolor, but it's already in the brush. It's nuts. It's crazy, I know. They gave me watercolor paper as well for the brushes, even though I'm not using them today. And they also sent me eight different acrylic paints and three iridescent acrylic paints that I also will not be using today. But look at how cute they are. Like, look at these. All the links will be down below for all of their art supplies. And hey, maybe you guys could paint along with me. Huh? A concept. A little information on our masterpiece today. The Scream is the popular name given to the Composition. <laughs> when you forget how to read. The Scream is the popular name given to the composition created by Norwegian Expressionist artist Edvard Munch in 1893. That's when this was made. Uh, the original German title given by Munch to this work was Der Schrie der Nitter. The Scream of Nature. And the Norwegian title, the Scream. The agonized face in the painting has become one of the most iconic images of art, seeing as symbolizing the anxiety of the human condition. And guys, let me tell you, during this time where we're all stuck in our houses, hopefully, if you want to be safe and healthy, aren't we all just a little, just a little anxious? So this painting will completely represent me today. Well, let's get started. I think this is gonna be pretty good. <laughs> Some things might be a little off, um, but it's fine, it's art. Let's pick our first colors, shall we? Here are my new 60 acrylic paints. Let's see what we got. Oh my God, these are beautiful. You guys. Oh, stop. Oh, I need more room. I need a table. Okay, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> These are all the paints we have to choose from. There are so many options here. I don't do well with options. Let's do the best we can. Let's start with the bridge. I feel like that will need a lot of like layering. So let's do the bridge first. I'm seeing, we're gonna have to use like all of these and probably some of these blues, probably this one or this one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you guys, this is gonna be a work of art, I assure you. I got my laptop set up here on top of my nice new boxes. And so now that I have my reference and I have some of my colors. Let's start this thing, shall we? I know Edvard Munch didn't use acrylic paints. I think he used oil or something like that. Therefore, it is going to look different and it's gonna look different anyway because I'm the one doing it. So, <laughs> in the end, I think this is going pretty well so far. Like, not gonna lie. This honestly, this took an hour, but for you guys, it's been two seconds. So, next, I guess, um, let's work on the sky. 
Yeah, and then it will start coming together, and then, oh gosh, um, then we can do the people, and then we'll do myself. If you guys think I'm a good artist, leave a comment down below, and if you think I am not a good artist, don't. <laughs> Okay, so my camera died, <laughs> but I finished the sky. Not too bad, looking pretty good, to be honest. I mean, uh. So I was thinking, like, should, do I paint me like this? And do like an, like an off the shoulder, little, do like an off the shoulder look? Actually, you can't see it, oh, you can there. Oh my gosh, you guys, oh boy, I think we have to do it. I think we have to, do an off the shoulder journey, half up, half down, scream. I think that's what we gotta do. We're gonna try to do as best as we can, okay? So let's change this. I'm a mess. I'm way past my snack time. Oh, this is great. Oh my God, you guys, I look like a professional painter. So there's usually a V right here. We're doing a full on swoop. Honey, yes we are. So that means this shoulder is exposed. <laughs> but then there would be my shirt, right? My shirt would be there. And then my sleeve would go here. Should we do the Mona Lisa next? I feel like that one would go very well. I'm wearing green pants. So let's get some, let's get some green. Let's do some journey wings. Oh God. Guys, this is where, this is where we can go wrong. It'll just be like, like barely there. It's just like a casual shirt. Casually has journey on it. No one's trying to show off here, you know. We'll just mix a little blue with the gray. Ooh, that looks nice. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh God. Yeah, maybe that was not the move. Um, you know what? I think we should move on. Now I'm thinking, let's uh, start on the face. <laughs> oh, this is so much bigger. This is so much bigger than that. <sighs> Man, should I make it bigger? I probably should. It's gonna take really long. It's okay. Here's what we'll do. We'll just add like some little stuff in the shirt. Like the shirt's getting a little bunchy. That did something. <laughs> Let's do the hair. That's what we're doing. I got my little widow's peak there. A little wider. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm an artist. It looks like all the eyes, the nose holes, and the mouth. Because <laughs> there's not really a nose. They're all in the same kind of blue. Yeah. So, I guess we'll do that. Yeah, we're doing good. Now we got the nose holes. <laughs> I look like Voldemort. I should have just done my face. I should have just done my normal face. I think there's no turning back now. Where's the delete button? We'll just cover that. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Now we got the eyeballs that are really hard because they're circles and I'm not good at shapes. <laughs> I failed geometry. That was the only class I failed. Let's just do the circles first. Is that too low? Yeah, that's way too low. <laughs> do I do eyebrows? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. We are doing fantastic. Okay, what else? Eyelashes. <laughs> Silly me. Maybe we'll use brown so it's not like too crazy. That one was a little messy. Looks like she's been crying a little bit. But like, who knows? Maybe she was crying a little bit. Sometimes life is just like that. And now for the final reveal of the screaming Hannah Forcier. Oh, oh. Ta da! Are we not the same? 
we're the same. Well, it has been a long, hard day of painting. This literally took me like four hours. Um, but it doesn't feel like it because you, you know what? Time flies when you're having fun. Honestly, this was so much fun. I hope you guys like this video. If you think I did a good job, even if you think I did a terrible job, please leave a thumbs up on this video and leave a comment if you want me to do another one because this was really fun and I have all these paints now. Like, this is so cool. So, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you, Arteza, for sending me everything to make this possible. <laughs> well, how much will you guys pay for this though? Like, how much? How much would you pay for this? Or or is it just priceless? I don't know. If you guys want your own art supplies, make sure to click the links down below and use my code if you want. And I will see you guys next week for a brand new video. Bye!